Barry Luz at, with Electra Voice and Pro Audio Land back with you talking about loudspeakers. And one of the things we get asked a lot is about impedance. What's impedance and how does that refer to a loudspeaker and an amplifier? Well, the impedance is the uh, resistance that the loudspeaker presents or gives to an amplifier through the speaker cable. So um, you can't hook up, in general, a whole bunch of loudspeakers to one amplifier. Even though the amplifier might be very powerful, it's only designed to work within a certain range of impedance. So an 8-ohm loudspeaker, you might be able to connect four of those to a big amplifier, but you wouldn't be able to connect 10 of them to that same amplifier because that amplifier, every time you connect a loudspeaker from one to the next to the next, you lower that impedance or resistance that the amplifier sees. And if you lower it too much, the amplifier thinks it's running into what's called a dead short. In other words, you've just got too much of a load on the amplifier. It overheats and quits working. So you have to mind your impedance when you match loudspeakers and amplifiers. Usually four loudspeakers or less on an amplifier channel. So with impedance, impedance is measured in ohms. So when you see an amplifier that's rated at 400 watts at 4 ohms, what that's telling you is you have two 8 ohm loudspeakers wired from one to the other. That presents the amplifier with a 4 ohm load. The amp will produce 400 watts at 4 ohms. Very simple math. Every time you connect one loudspeaker to another, you cut the impedance of the first loudspeaker in half. So 8 ohms. Second loudspeaker, we get 4 ohms. The next loudspeaker, roughly 3 ohms. The fourth loudspeaker would give us 2 ohms. Now, if you're going to use that many loudspeakers, you're going to need a pretty big power amp that will give you oh, 800 to 1,000 watts at 2 ohms.